people from the internet today here in the channels tapa olho azul and super academico in our weekly english video i'm going to comment the the books the series of books written by uh, isaac asimov uh, called foundation the foundation saga foundation series whatever uh, I, I i just uh, read né? Uh, part of the this, this this series these books in uh in a form of audiobooks uh, i heard and i i thought what was it was interesting to make some comments about the story because uh it, it's good science fiction uh, isaac asimov is a reference in science fiction for all of us who likes science fiction and i also thought that was interesting to to make some some approximations with our history our our, our world that well that's what science fiction does né? Uh, makes approximations and relations with our reality and also some uh, i detected some some relations between uh the the, the current science fiction in space fantasy with this the stories references and well first of all né, before i begin really discussing the the book the series of books the story i i i'd like to ask you if you like to to subscribe to our channels uh, our channels need your subscription to keep growing and super academico is a a scholar basically a scholar channel that is growing as we have more than 1000 subscribers but we need more of course and tapolia azul is, is a, a entertainment channel uh, owned by my, my my son that's also growing it has set up seven 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 hundred and eight seven hundred something uh subscribers so we need more to to keep growing and producing context for you people from the internet all over the world so um going to the subject foundation is the story of uh, uh a man a man it starts with one man a man called called uh harry harry seldom and he he develops uh, a strange kind of a science called psychohistory psychohistory which is a mix of mathematics sociology and psychology and which with this strange science he, he is able to calculate uh, future events in the galaxy uh, there's a whole galaxy that uh that is a uh, uh, that is filled uh, with people if human beings are there uh the evidence of the the galaxy a whole galaxy and uh with this the science uh, he that which he lives in an uh, empire uh, gal galactic empire uh, by the way uh, i think George Lucas took the name Galactic Empire from this book, which is great because George Lucas is a uh, known reader and researcher of science fiction. You know, so probably he he read Foundation and all the Isaac Asimov uh, work. And in this Galactic Empire, there is the 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 planets the people the politicians and this this scientist and uh, this psycho historian psychology called psychologist he discovers uh, he predicts and he calculates that the the empire will will ruin will crumble and ruin in some more years 
and then he proposed that a foundation is created to created to save the future of mankind of humanity by accumulating the knowledge of the the, the humans in a encyclopedia 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 galactica and this mega book of knowledge will be constructed will, will be constructed will be constructed uh, in a uh, distant planets in the, the corners and uh, in the margin of the galaxy far away from decay of the empire né? and then he, he, he goes there né, with some chosen so cho chosen people scientists and begins the, this this production production of this uh, encyclopedia well, the problem is that uh, it seems since the book was written in in episodes, episodes that was written to fill a uh, magazine, that uh, it was created in the in, uh, in the way that was created. It, it, it wasn't thought to be. I think it's my impression as a reader that it wasn't taught in a whole story. Maybe it was, I don't know, but it seems not. It seems that um, the, the, the writer, Isaac Asimov, he taught uh, a, a piece of a history, a piece of a story, sorry. And from then, he was able to create many other things. For instance, uh, the, 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 the piece that I read, read uh, heard, heard, the piece that I heard uh, tells the story of the, 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 the first crisis the, the, and the second crisis, which the foundation finds a way to survive by using the science that it accumulates to, to overthrow, to, to defeat. Uh, closer enemies, closer planets that are far away from the uh, center of the empire and they are in, at war and there is very violence and plotting. Um, but uh, since the foundation has accumulated knowledge and technology, they kind of uh, influence this nearby planets with uh, a, a type of religion, a religion, a m magic religion, which they use their science, the knowledge to, to impress, uh, to, to, to make, the, make the people of these other planets to believe that they are some kind of a special people, holy people. And they use this to keep them in control and in the way to accumulate the, the knowledge to in a thousand years before the, the complete ruin, ruin of the empire, they will be able, not they uh, in fact, uh, but the, their offspring will be able to reconstruct the human knowledge, the human empire in the galaxy. But of course, uh, the thing the thing doesn't work beautifully né? Uh, in the last episode that i that i that i heard the the the, the foundation was beginning to ha to to was was starting to to be controlled by uh, uh by so they called trade the so-called traders traders uh, uh, as i understood the traders were a class of people that were in the foundation but to make trades eh, of products with other planets other people eh, other uh, other nations whatever and as i understood the, the, the it it ends when they are expecting a third crisis they call seldom crisis a crisis that were predicted by harry seldom and they will be able to keep 
his work by doing nothing, basically, né? Just be prepared to this crisis and all, uh, in all crises, uh, the empire gets close to the destruction, né? to annihilation, and the foundation gets stronger in a way that uh, survives the, 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 barbar the barbarism, the decay of civilization, so they, ki they can reconstruct afterwards a new empire. Right? Um, the, 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 the main book was written in the uh, end of the f 1940s and beginning of the 1950s. I think it was first published in 1951, I think, 51, 1951. And there is three books, three books, uh, uh, The Foundation, uh, Founda Foundation Empire, and Second Foundation, which I, I just get to know né, by researching that is, is that the original plan of Harry said was to build two foundations and opposite sides of the galaxy. And there is some mystery involved and some other characters that I, I don't know about because I just heard, I just read, né? read, heard this one. But I think uh, this like the lets the reader always in suspension of something that could happen. Uh, I heard too that uh, Asimov uh, wrote um, two prequels and one sequel, two sequels of these books in the in the 1980s and 30, 40 years after. So there is some kind of development, the development that he did, and he. he puts the, the robots mythology into the, the story of the foundation, which is, is interesting because he is known, well known, because of his books about robots. But what, uh, what we can comment about this strange story? He said that he got inspired by the decay of the Roman Empire. I'm an empire that grew, that grew so, so big that the center could not control the, the margins, right? control the faraway systems, faraway cities, whatever. Which I think George Lucas also took this idea to construct his mythology of Star Wars. Because as I understand now, in Star Wars, there is the same problem. You have a whole galaxy with a central government, first the Republic, then the, the Empire, then the New Republic, that cannot uh, control, they cannot govern, can, cannot be everywhere. The systems are too far away to the government, to the central government to intervene. So uh, I think the, this idea is was used by George Lucas in his mythology in a very brilliant way, am I, uh, uh, I can add. And I think uh, for us as civilization, as a human civilization in our planet, I think the main lesson that we can take from that is we are developing technology as as a civilization, as a people, as a whole, very fast. But we are also creating the same kind of decay or barbarism, violence, that goes together with these advances. Uh, and then I think we can learn something from that. We can learn something that evolves uh, the, 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 the learning about uh, the human nature, that the human condition, that says that we maybe are not so predictable as the, as the, uh, the science, as the, the, the expectations of the, the rulers uh, of the world. Uh, anticipate, try to anticipate. So, Harry Seldon, uh, I think he, he 
symbolizes. For one side, the 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 attempt of of some humans, uh, some people, to control everything in a way, but also he is the voice of uh, a need for us as as a a species of a, uh, of be more thoughtful about our future. So the problems that we have today with environmental problems, uh, the, the sustainable problems, these problems, they, they are like a clue. They are clues for our, our possibility in the future of not have a future, uh, of destruction, of annihilation, of decay of uh, civiliza civilization as we know. So it would be very interesting to use this kind of uh, science fiction to look to ourselves and maybe try to develop better uh, a way to live. I think uh, that's that's it, the main thing. That ah, I also uh, remember that uh, the idea of the the capital planet of the Star Wars universe, that's uh, Coruscant, that's a planet that's uh, it's a, a city in a whole, the, the whole planet is a, is a city uh, and the, the, the capital of the, the empire of the Asimov uh, mythology is also uh, a planet that is a city, a whole planet is a city, So, th but the name is different, of course, uh, the name is Trentor Trentor, I think that yeah, Trentor, but the idea is the same. It's very interesting that I think George Lucas got inspired by these two when he created the idea of the central capital planets of the <laughs> of the Republic and the Empire, Coruscant, being a planet that is a city, and the whole planet is a one city with trillions of people living together working and the, the bureaucracy that is subtle subtly eh, presented by Isaac Asimov the, the bureaucracy of the Empire is also there I think in in Star Wars I, I think it's very 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 nice at I as a, a reader of this science fiction afterwards as a science fiction that's older than my favorite space fantasy space fantasy connects these inspirations but I think the, there is a lesson there too about uh, how you, you can construct mythologies eh? uh, narratives about uh, wonder worlds about fantasy worlds I, I think uh, the, 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 these ideas even if they are not uh, inspired by each other they seem to have some kind of a uh, inspiration and some kind of a profound inspiration in our desires in our subconscious in our unconscious i don't know something like that i don't know i'm not from the psychology realm of knowledge but i think there is some some something there because uh main many of the the fictions, uh, science fictions and fantasies and uh, mythologies, they, they tend to repeat these themes, these environments, this thing, this way of thinking to teach some lessons to ourselves. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give us the like. Uh, the, the subscribe subscribe button hit the bell to, for notifications if you you want to and comments and share the video and uh, also if you want you can uh, um, give ideas for new videos in English that's it and till next time bye bye Good.